8 billion humans on planet Earth. Every single one of them with a completely unique face. Sure, there are twins and doppelgangers, but it is a complete fact that every single face is completely unique. You know that your parents had to be in the absolute right place at the right time to meet. And every single event in their life kind of led up to the point where they would meet and eventually create a relationship and have it actually work out so that they could have you, which makes your probability of existing very, very low, but wait. Remember that their parents had to be in the right place at the right time to meet and have every single event line up in their life for them to meet and then their parents and then their parents and then it goes on forever. So the probability of you existing right now as you are with your face and your personality is incomprehensibly low. I, as I know it, with my personality and my face would not exist if every single goddamn event in the universe did not line up for it to happen. It's kind of hard to not believe in faith when you think about these things. So, you and me are miracles in the fact that we exist as we are. So why are we insecure? Why do I care about this mole I have above my lip? And why do I care about having weird elbows and being short? Just thinking about how insane it is that I am me as I know it makes me kind of accept those things like they were meant to be so I could be myself. If the chances of me existing as I know it are so low, I'm gonna trust the universe and God for making me how I am. For giving me weird elbows, for making me short, why would I not trust it if the chances are just so low? And that's just the physical stuff. Get this, you are walking the earth right now and there never has been and never will be someone with your face, with your personality, in your situation right now, ever. Never, you are the first. Someone who likes the same music as you, the same food that is in your position right now watching this video never has existed and never will exist again unless we were able to clone in the future. But I don't give a shit. Right now, that is the truth. So rock it with pride. Walk the earth knowing I am Reese. There has never ever been another Reese Daniels. There never ever will be. So how can I not be myself and love myself for who I am? How can you not love yourself and rock yourself with pride if, you, if there will never ever be someone else like you ever again. You are special in that way. We are all special snowflakes in that way. Remember that you can leave a mark on this world and you can change the lives of so many people with just your actions and your words. You could save someone's life by smiling at them. That's completely true. Let this knowledge of you knowing you can change the world every single day bring out your truest authentic self. Be honest with yourself, how much of your true self do you show? I'd say I show around 80%, but what lies in that other 20%? I'll never know until I drop every mask and stop censoring every single sentence and stop being so insecure and stop wondering what other everyone else is thinking about me and, and if everyone else is caring about what I say. So why do we all have a mask up? Why, don't, why are we all so insecure? Why are we all not our truest authentic selves? <laughs> to start, we obviously don't want to be judged by our fellow human. Because we used to live in tribes, to be judged and seen as the outsider in your tribe would symbolize death. Someone leaving a mean comment on my video or your Instagram post symbolizes death to us. Because this is banishment, this is pushing you away from the tribe because you are weird. Symbolizes death. Someone staring at you in a weird way or making a comment about your outfit symbolizes death to some part of her brain, but God damn it, you only live once. Me, Reese Daniels, I only live once. You, my friend, only live once. Luckily, we are not in tribes anymore, so, so us being judged by someone on the internet does not symbolize death anymore if we actually think about it. To not live your most authentic life and speak the truth that you know deep down in your heart is not right and you know it's not right. One day you're gonna be old and you cannot and must refuse the fact that you might look back in your life and realize I wasted years of my life because I was scared of showing the world my true self. Chase every passion even if people think you're weird. Say every sentence that you know is true to your heart even if people are gonna say something about it as long as it's not hateful of course. We've grown up our whole lives insecure and afraid of being judged and we have lost ourselves in the process. Now this is our instinct, so we can't be upset about it, but we can realize we are not in tribe anymore. We have control over the way we feel about ourselves in a way. How were you as a child? Were you kind of carefree and happy and didn't really think anyone was judging you? How could they? But that little kid is gone now, right? But who is to say that you cannot get that carefreeness and the authenticity back? 
Who says that you can't be 50 years old and change your life? Who says that you have to be the same person you've been for the last 10 years? Who says you have to be the same person that you were five minutes ago? There are laws in this world, but when it comes to your personality and how you present yourself to the world and showing the world yourself, there are no rules. So God damn it, be yourself. There is a beautiful part of everyone that is alive on this planet and I want you to show the world that part of you. That is completely unique to you, therefore no one else has it. So go out there today and be yourself, be as authentic as possible because we cannot let our fear of being judged get in the way of us showing the world, showing ourselves, our true self. Stop and imagine for a second the life you'll live once you're being authentic yourself. You'll feel free. This is the hardest part. What if you hate yourself? What if you've done something to someone else that you've never told anyone else and you hate yourself for it? What if you just can't stand who you are? If that's the case, that's also okay because there is a person inside of you that has wanted to get over that insecurity for a long time, wants to heal itself and wants to be free like you once were. Of course, it's not that easy. It's a healing process, but you have to heal eventually, so why not try to start now? For what you might have done, you have to forgive yourself eventually, so why not start trying to forgive yourself now? Remember that the chances of you existing in the first place are just so low. Let that knowledge take you into the world today and for the first time, maybe ever, since you were a little kid, be yourself. The self that no one else has ever been and will ever be. That's something that you can show the world that no one else has ever showed the world and never will show the world. Drop all expectations of who you must be and just be. And have a great rest of your day.